Hey everyone, it's Megan with Alder and Nance, and this week I made a half-scale dress form. Okay, before we actually get into the bootstrap dress form that I made, I do want to go ahead and say you might hear some coughing in the background, or you might hear me doing stuff like that. I apologize. I'll try and cut out a lot of that as I can, but I can't guarantee the coughs in the background from my kids being sick will be cut out. We got strep running through the entire house, so that's what's going on. That's why I'm not even bothering with hair and makeup today. But I did want to go ahead and talk about my half scale dress form and my half scale pattern. Okay, so first I want to go ahead and share how this went about being put together and everything. So I want to go ahead and head on over to me actually creating this and I will talk to you about it there. Okay, I am hoping that my new method of recording with my little extension is actually working, but I have my half scale mannequin dress form completely cut out and I am getting ready to go ahead and transfer all of this information over to my fabric. I am going to do it with a quarter inch seam allowance, which is not included in the bootstrap dress form patterns. You have to add it yourself, but since I am doing a half scale, I am only going to use a quarter inch seam allowance where they recommend three eighths of an inch. I'm only going to go ahead and do a quarter inch seam allowance simply because it is so much smaller. Okay, so I have all of my pieces cut out now, and I need to do my cardboard and have a cup of coffee, but that is where I am at now. I've got all of these little pieces cut out, ready to go. I am going to hand baste most of these pieces together, especially the smaller itty bitty pieces. The bigger pieces I could probably just pin, but like the bus cups and everything, I'm probably going to have to hand baste those together before I actually sew them together because this thing is tiny. So do that and then I'll cut out my cardboard and get that ready and we'll go from there. Okay, so I don't have my microphone plugged in right now, but I have the front and back sewn together. I have my guidelines or balance lines actually marked into my mini dress form. 
and I am getting ready to sew the shoulder seams together and going from there. Okay, so you got to see how I put it together and a couple of my complaints about this dress form. Let me go ahead and take off my half scale dress that I have on there to test the measurements. I did go ahead and just pin this into the back of it. I do have a couple of complaints about the bootstrap dress form and it's not from me shrinking it down 50% to make it a half scale. It's actually from bootstrap and I've seen complaints about this with their custom size dress forms. I have all of the standard size dress form patterns because at one point I thought I was going to make the standard ones to sell to other people. But here is my bootstrap. I did use my green fabric that I've used in the past. Uh, it's a twills type fabric and I did go ahead and zigzag all of my balance lines and everything onto here. And then I, as you saw, I did go ahead and write the Alder and Nance on the front of it. So a couple of complaints about it is the bust line is way too low and I don't have that pattern. Hold on. So let me go ahead and just cut off the seam allowance of my little half scale dress form or not dress form, but my little half scale pattern that I made and all of this is in a US size 8. That's the size that I wanted to go ahead and do my pattern at and I'm only going to put my front pattern on here for you to see where everything is and this is from uh, what is that company called? Design Lab or designlab.london uh, I've got all of their packs for the standard dress basic block and okay so I have my little half scale pattern to fit on here and okay so here is my basic bodice block actually on my dress form and as you can see my waistline is off by about half an inch and my bust line is off by a, almost an inch. It's right around three fourths of an inch. So I'm trying to make up my mind. Do I want to go ahead and change out my basic block and just change this to fit my dress form? Or since I have this already done and this is just a standard block and I have seen so many complaints about the bust line on here being too low. So I want to go in and see if I can actually raise this bust line up. And I don't wanna raise it up to here, but that means I'm probably going to have to change Yeah, and that's about right with this. So I'm not going to have to change my armhole because my armhole fits fine. Yeah, that fits fine for that. And I'll have to lower my waistline down or not. I'll have to raise my waistline by about half an inch also. And I don't know what size, and I have emailed Pattern Lab to find out what size bust all of their standard blocks are drafted for. 
if they're an A cup, B cup, or what the underbust is, I'm going to have to go in and figure out what underbust right here, what the difference is there to figure out where my underbust line is on here. So that's just a couple of things I'm going to be doing to raise this. So let me know, should I change this or should I change my dress form and create another one? Because it, this one did really well. It's not that hard. And you would think with me making it in half scale, it would be extremely hard. It really wasn't. And it is the cutest little thing. And ah, yeah, see, I'm already gonna need to go in and fix right here. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna end up doing is actually recreating my dress form. And that will be next week's video. And I'll have to check all my pattern pieces to make sure I have it. And I'll figure out how to raise my bust line how to raise the waist on here and just go from there and I'll try and figure out where because I believe it's done with a B cup or at least from here it's done as a B cup but I don't know what the underbust is for the pattern lab or design lab pattern lab whatever you want to call it so that is it for this week's video. It is extremely cute. I love this little dress form. And what I ended up doing is actually putting it on my light stand. And that's how I've got it in here. And I apologize, it's not the prettiest underneath. I just inserted a little cardboard pole, some zippers and shoved it full of stuffing. And I've got in here is just a, uh, what is this called? Sponges. So that's all that is on here. And it's a really good pattern. I love how easily this came together. It just, it needs to raise the bust line, needs to raise the waistline. And I know if I were to have gone onto their website and did a custom measurement of my own body, I can change where this is if I were to go in and do a custom. And I believe you can also do it from here to your waistline and then here to your waistline on the back. And then you can actually do a hollow back and things along those lines. So there's a lot of customizations for the bootstrap dress forms, but for if you are like me and you purchased all of them thinking that you were going to make them to sell, just know that it's not perfect even for those because the bust line is too low, the waistline is too low. And actually, let's see, is the hip line too low? And of course, I accidentally grabbed the back one. I need to throw that pen away. Do not poke yourself. And I'm just going to fold this back because I went ahead and added a half inch seam allowance. And now, if I were to have it up where it should be, it should be right there. So even the hip line needs to come up just a little bit, but as you can see, that's simply because this has come up. So I might not need to actually change how far down that is. So just raising that up, raising this up might actually correct these two. So what I'll end up doing is Actually, let's see. I apologize. I'll be cutting out a lot of this extra little nonsense where you're not having to deal with it. So if I were to put this at the waistline, see, it's not that much of a difference from here to here. And then if I were to, and I know this is the back, 
Yeah, that would be correct. So, this area is just too long, and that's what the issue is. I need to raise the bust, and by raising the bust, all of this will also fall in line and correct itself. So that's what we're going to do is go in and fix the bootstrap dress form and raise the bust line. All right, guys, y'all have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week.